Okay, here we've got the, the temperature sensor wired up. I removed the uh, display from the prior video. Let me just put in a temperature sensor, and it's much simpler to wire up. It's got uh, 1.8 volt power, ground, the I squared C circuit, and then for address purposes on the address line here, we have to pull it to ground, which sets its address so we can talk to it in software. That's all it takes. This is actually active right now. There's the temp software that you can run. Um, I'm going to do a screen cap, a uh, little video capture. I'm going to run the software. Um, and then touch the, the uh, touch the sensor and you can see the temperature go up. as my finger rests on the sensor. And then, now that we've done that, I'll take this ice cube here, whoops, put it on top of the sensor, and you can see the uh, temperature starts to immediately fall. See if we can get it. We can catch it, right? Wait, yep. Yeah. There we go. We've gone negative. So we're at minus three degrees, 26 degrees Fahrenheit. That's because I took this ice cubes and I dumped salt on them. So that causes them to, to go extremely cold while it's melting. Now I take the ice off, you'll see the things start recovering temperature back to room temperature. I'll put a warmer finger on top of it and you'll see it start to climb right back up to where one would expect. So you can see that, that the I squared C circuit on the 1.8 volts is working just fine with no problems at all.